Maynard Operation Sequence Technique, in short, the most time measurement system. Um, this is a simpler system than the methods time measurement system one, also the system two, and we'll be using the same flashlight example to explain this system. It was developed in 1980s, um, and then it is about five times faster than the MTM-1. MTM-2 is about two to three times faster. And it has three separate, um, I would say, um, categories of um, system. One is the Maximus, which is for the longer uh, operations, and then Minimus for the shorter, as it says, and the basic system. Um, to explain this system, um, so it's, it's pretty simple. It follows a very logical uh, water. For example, as it says, the operation sequence technique. So imagine there is some kind of sequence uh, we study whenever we do try to do things. So if you think about this, whenever we are doing anything, we're trying to get the object uh, by moving our hands, body, and then grab the object or gain control of the object. And after that, we move the object, uh, again moving our body and hands, and finally placing it somewhere and then return it to the workstation. So this sequence technique uses the sequences of, of operations uh, to analyze or determine the standard timing. And it uses three separate sequence model. One is for general move, and then the second one is for controlled move, and then final one is the tools and equipments used. Um, we'll soon ex give an example uh, for each of these so we understand how this thing works. Um, so let's see. It uses this table. So um, basically, when you are moving, instead of TME, it uses things called index. Um, a similar table we have seen for MTM1, MTM2, kind of self explanatory. Um, let's go to the example and then we go back here and check the tables. Um, so for the flashlight assembly work, if you remember, what we need to do is basically get the housing, get the battery, all three batteries into the housing, and then also uh, get the end cap and screw tight them, and basically after that set aside. Now for these three different actions or elements, getting the housing, getting the battery, uh, putting down the assembly uh, when it is done kind of falls under the general move where basically this is get move this is put and this is for the return so getting the housing basically we move our hands it's about 12 inches away so the body motion is not necessary and then we gain control basically grabs the housing and then move the housing closer to us. So that's uh, moving our uh, hands, but no body motion, no uh, placement. We're not placing anywhere. So then we get the battery and same thing, go for the battery and then move our hands 12 inches. There is no body motion. And then we get, um, so the gain control of the battery um, and then, um, move the battery closer to the housing and then put inside the housing and then uh, return does not apply here because we're going to get another battery another battery and so on and then there are uh, four batteries um, so let me check one of the table for example this uh, uh, general move um, i use one index for um, the housing so basically it's within reach 12 inches if you have to move about one to two steps then you use three index instead of one however because it was within three we really didn't have to um, within the reach then we only use just uh, one fr uh, from this so this is how you read this table so let's go back to that analysis again and then uh, for setting aside basically it was in our hand and just basically uh, put it away. Uh, only hand motion, there is no body or placement type of thing going on here. So that's all 
um, so each of this TMU is 10, uh, each index is 10. So you basically add all the indexes. So you can see here you have three indexes. For battery, we have four indexes. And then for setting aside one index. So you add all the indexes and each index is 10 TMU. Then you multiply with that to get the total TMU. So this is the total TMU for each of these activities. Now for the um, end cap, it's more like a um, tool use type of situation. If you think about this end cap, we place it on the housing and then trying to turn more like a screwdriver or placing a ratchet wrench like that. So situation like that. So this part closing the end cap falls under kind of this tool use situation. So same thing, same movement, we get the tool, so move our hands, no body motion within our reach, and then gain control, and then again, uh, move it close to the housing. This P placing here is a little bit tricky because this P is, is clumsy, it's not that easy placement. Let's go to the table and see why that three index is there. So here is that placement, the first table of the Menard table. If you look at this, this is the situation we are dealing here. It's a loose fit, but it needs adjustment, kind of back turn, double placement, needs slight pressure. So we use three index for that. It's not just a placing the battery inside the housing. The end cap requires some activity. So it falls under this category of this table. So that's three index. That's why that three index three came there. So this placing index three, and this is the use. So we are trying to fasten that end cap into the housing. So let's go to the tool use table and explain how that three came. Um, so tool use, fasten, here is the fasten tool use. To tool use have a bunch of tables, fasten, loosen, cutting, surface, measurement, things like that. So for the fastening work, it's more like a spinning, uh, this kind of situation. Finger action, is spinning, swirling type of situation. Now this piece is kind of clumsy. I had to do few, um, it's not full two turn, it's about, I would say, one and a quarter turn. However, it took me about five, four to five um, swirl to do that. Um, but um, this is for one full swing uh, or one full turn. But this one uh, is not two turn, but it took me some uh, motion. So that's why I use three here, index. Um, it's not three full turns, nowhere near close to that. That would be too much. Um, but that piece is kind of clumsy, so it might even go to here as well. So um, I use three for that, but six would be also be okay for that um, particular clumsy piece. Uh, so here is the tool use piece, which is six. And if you add all these indexes, it gets nine total for the end cap. So that, that is 90 TMU. So total TMU is 250. And then in seconds, it takes about nine seconds to do the assembly. In using the MTM1 and MTM2, I think we have found about uh, eight, 8.2 or 8.3 seconds or so, if I remember correctly. So this is how we use the most, the Manard operation sequence technique. Um,